Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and start the stream. Uh, cause I'm going a little later than I originally thought I said I was going to do. Um, I'm gonna first start off by saying that I've got a fan going on right now. Um, so hopefully that's not audible. And if it is audible, hopefully it's not obnoxious. Um, so there's that. So if you hear like a faint fan, that's why. Um, why is it on? Because it's getting to summer. Or it's approaching summer here in Texas. Unbearable heat. And at the apartment I'm at, every year, the AC struggle. And so it's, uh, it's an ordeal to then get it fixed for a while. And then they say they fix it and it's not really fixed. Um, but that's just how it is. Um, so there's that. Uh, two, the other important thing, uh, uh, before I get to what's happening today's stream, which should be the final Kingdom Hearts 1 stream for this, um, what I did this past weekend, like, that was, like I said, today, if you're watching live, if you're watching the video on YouTube, today is Memorial Day. This is happening on Memorial Day. I have, I have a friend, a friend coming over, friend Colton coming over, um, but I wanted to get this out of the way before Chain of Memory started. So before I get to what today's stream is going to be, um, just what a uh, look at what I did. Because at the end of the last stream, which was just a short little grinding session, I was like, off off stream, I'm going to grind a ton. And so what I've reaped from doing all that grinding is uh, first all the Dalmatians were found. So I did that. Um, but what it is, what we got is the Ultima weapon, which just took a ton of grind. This was the heaviest grinding part, which was just a bunch of synthesizing stuff. So like if in the past streams, I just occasionally like hit up the synthesizing room with the Moogles or like, oh, let's get a potion or get a, some, you know, accessory. Uh, but to get Ultima weapon, it's a lot of grinding. It's a lot of the special heart list that I touched upon in previous streams. It's just, it was, Literally Saturday was like a little bit of level grinding and a ton of synthesis grinding, which is, it was, I don't want to say difficult, it's just time consuming is really what it is. And time consuming and a knowledge of what you're doing so that you're not even wasting more time doing it. That's basically what that is. So Ultima Open's there, that's the main thing, well, that's like the second main thing. The other, the biggest thing is going to be level. I grant everyone's 100. Um, not as time consuming as you would maybe think, uh, it was very simple, I just put on like music and podcasts and then was just grinding that out, that's not difficult, but like I said, the synthesis thing was the thing that took the majority of Saturday off stream. Um, so there's the, you know, getting abilities with all those levels, I've got the ultimate weapon, I'm a beefed up Sora. Now, to touch upon what, uh, today's stream is, I'm gonna make sure I'm connected, right? Um, the thing that's going to be today's stream, what we got on the docket is, and the reason why I'm in this room, is, uh, and I, I apologize, I'm going to turn down the volume on this really quick, so it's going to be blue screen, a little bit of a blue screen, I'm so sorry, I, I actually personally hate doing that, but it's required, I gotta turn down the volume in my ears a bit there. Um, so what this is going to be, because I need to hear myself talk a bit, <laughs> I don't like not being able to, is going to be the, the finishing of Winnie the Pooh. So the the order of what we're going to do things is Winnie the Pooh, we've got, I got the final torn page, so there's one more chapter that, but I also need to do a bit better on two previous mini games in there. So that's what I'm going to do first. Then we got a ton of Olympus Coliseum that we're going to do. So that's gonna be like the beginning or the middle part is gonna be like Olympus Coliseum tournaments. And then we got the secret, or I say secret bosses, but it's like the, the end game bosses. Um, and so we got a bunch of those to go through uh, without spoiling all of them. If you're again watching this and you have no idea what um, bosses they could be, uh, one of them is going to be our good old boy Sephiroth, so we'll be seeing him. This is where the final chapter will be, 
but we're not gonna do that yet. First, first we got, uh, I looked at what it was, it's wherever the swing is. I think this is the swing, yeah. So I need to do a lot better on the swing part. Um, so we'll do this first. I think when I checked what I got score wise, I got like 28 meters. Apparently you need 40. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully it doesn't take me more than one one go. Whoops. Alright, so I will do my best. Forty apparently. I'm gonna suck. This is thirty. Bullshit. It says to. Uh, do I have to like where to go? Do I really have to go and reset this? Oh. Come on, Pooh. Yes. Okay. It says when they're closing the wings. Now, does it mean right on top? I'm... I thought it meant as he starts to close. But does it mean right when the, like, wings close fully? Okay. I did better. So, I'll take it. That's all I had to do. We are all good on this front. Also, you'll see with the level grinding, look at that extended health bar. I like seeing that in the magics. Uh, maybe later. Okay, so we did that. So as far as I know, that's all the best I have to do on that game. Uh, the other game I had to do better on was this. Um, I think I missed it by like a second or two here. Uh, this stupid pop thing, so... Um, do this hopefully again doesn't uh what's he saying okay well not quite sure why i had to interrupt there a little thing why couldn't you just be here oh don't don't bother me with this oh just just let me play the game how do i start this who do i need to talk to rue Okay, here we go. Whack the nuts. Okay, that was bad. I think the trick is to hit it at a high area. Look at that. Look at that. Getting shit done. Okay, so that was definitely under the required 30. Uh, don't even want to talk to him. Um, so this is all to get, if I remember correctly, to get cheer unlocked for Sora. Uh, you just gotta do pretty good on all of the mini games. But here's the final chapter to Pooh's book, and then we're done with Winnie the Pooh. Pacing in the mud. Oh, that was weird. Like, snapped me to the ground and then was like, walk towards Pooh. What are you doing, Pooh? Shh, quiet, or they'll get away. Pooh. The people who took everyone away. See their footprints? We were all sticking together to make sure no one got lost again. But then I saw some footprints that need following, so I did. Suddenly, everyone was gone. Bad people must have taken them away. Actually, Pooh, I think those footprints are, um... Anyway, I'll be looking for your friends. So I gotta... Do something? I think I just have to find them. Like, go in here. Find pathetic Eeyore. 
hello. What are you doing? Looking for sticks to build my house again. Sticks for your house? This place already feels like a house. Yeah, dumb dumb. Seems like a great spot to gather everyone once we find them. Pooh's muddy path. Help Pooh find his lost friends. Target him with R1 to guide him. Alright, I feel like I remember this kind of being annoyingly frustrated. Come on. Let's go. Like, I think you just have to get him to do things. already I don't know if that was the right thing to do um, come on I found a friend I found a friend where did crap what are you kidding me he's right here friend Oh, uh, my goodness. Do I have to talk to him? Al looks so intent on something. Well, I just had to follow him. But then Al flew off. My time is still ticking during this. And there I was, all by myself. During the talking, the time is ticking. Come on. Something's not right about that. Um, okay. What is this? Examine. What pretty flowers. Who's gotta see this? I agree. Come over here, Pooh. Look at the flowers. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Carried by some butterflies. Was this a thing? Can he come down? Is this hole a thing? The hole? No? Okay, well, come on over. I, I already feel like I'm gonna have to redo this. Not. Can I skip that? Nope. Goes the time. Alright, we got. I'll ride this. What? Come on, Pooh. No, don't jump down. Oh. I saw Pooh walking away, so I bounced after him. Then I bounced a bit too high, and I lost sight of old Pooh Bear. Just get in the house. <laughs> get in the cell. Can I do this without Pooh? Is that the... What is the trick to this? I don't remember this part. Um, let's see, I see some bees. I'm not sure. Uh, what does Owl want? What? What am I looking at? Hello, Piglet. So this is where you've been. Maybe I should bring Pooh along. Oh, no. Okay. We gotta figure this out, guys. <laughs> we gotta figure it out. Um. Oh. See ya. Okay. Pooh. Pooh, for the love of God. We only have a minute and a half. I think I have to guide him through the log. I'm also, before I'm gonna to... I'm gonna see if I can knock the, um... Fire! Is this a thing? Was that good? Was that bad? I guess we'll find out. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Yes, please. Yes. Go. Go in there. Go in there, Pooh. Speed. Oh, 
I'm begging you, Pooh. Yes. Yes, Pooh. Yes, Pooh. Over to the flowers. Come on, 30 seconds. Come on, Pooh Bear. I want you to fly faster. 20 seconds, Pooh Bear. Come on. This way. To Piglet. Hurry. Yellow Piglet. Oh. Pooh, where are you? I don't know. Come on. Oh, oh no. Jesus. What? No, don't fly away. Do I need an owl? I don't know. Come, come on down, Pooh. We failed. I was scared when it even disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the holding cell. Is there more? I have to... Get in there. I gotta redo this. Ah. Well, that's not everyone still. Is there more? Pooh Bear, please. Did you poop? Come on. Where's the... Is that not everyone? Where's Rue? I don't... Uh... Oh my goodness, okay. Is that everyone? Hey! Okay. That's me. I'm so glad we're all together again. The guests are here. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when I was all alone. Oh, Piglet, you gotta be brave. So you I was definitely not lonely under five. At all? Lonely? Are you kidding? I'm a Tigger. The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. But I do admit, friends are awfully fun too. <laughs> think, think, think. Hey, Pooh. What are you thinking about hey, now? Hey, Pooh. Oh, well, I'm just thinking about... The friend walked into about. the door, so now I'm accommodating <laughs> well, room I'm on the sofa. Sora, where are you going? He hates you guys. You guys suck. I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Oh, it's on back again! Delicioso. <laughs> I hope you find your friends. Can you put a dose in the freezer for me? Thank you. You stole my text, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just making sure. Boy, after the stream part, do I have stories for you? <laughs> no. 
they're they're Sora, don't they're forget. not they're not we shall stream or stream worthy if you'd like to visit again that is did it take a lot of work well so the thermostat was definitely a lot more work for getting the uh, uh it was a bitch to get the old radiators out just because everything had gotten so hot that everything was used to itself. Um, yeah. But putting the new radiator in took it maybe an hour and a half to get the old one out and maybe like 45 minutes to get the new one That's no good. Okay. I mean, it could be worse, yeah. The shop told me, uh, I took it to the shop to get a pressure test so they could figure out like what was wrong with it. And they're like, yeah. I'll leave your radiator, we'll replace it for $570. And I'm like, fuck that. So I went and got the parts for $118, and after roughly two hours of my time, I saved $400. So yeah, it could be a lot worse. 200 bucks an hour right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I just hate, like I always say, I hate car work, and I can't imagine myself working on, yeah. like, yeah. doing shit like that. It's not hard to do, it's, I'm kind of, it's like big Legos. I know where stuff goes, and I don't know why it goes there or what it does while it's there, <laughs> I know where it goes. When you came in, I know you're coming from outside, so it may not be the best barometer, but is it like super hot in here? Um, or does it feel decent? I mean, it doesn't feel hot in here, no. That's good then. Now that it's approaching summer, um, it's like where the, the AC start getting stressed. Mm -hmm. So then I know like I'm gonna have to have the Repair guys, come and take a look at it and do all that funky jazz. It's a sad story. Yeah. Mm. So I'm doing like end game stuff in this. Like I'm, I'm finishing up Winnie the Pooh here. This is the most frustrating thing. It's like guiding him towards things. Um, then I got uh, just basically like secret bosses and stuff. Mm. So it's fun. Yes. I didn't think you were coming here, like, earlier this morning when I woke up. I was like, oh, he's not going to be here at, like, whatever time it is now. So when I was planning around my day, I was like, oh, I wasn't... I mean, I'm not saying I don't want you here. I just didn't think you would be here. So then, like, I was trying to gauge when... Because I wanted to wrap this up this weekend. So then I was like, oh, should I just... Fire! Wait. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know. You know what I'm trying to say? I was tr I was trying to plan out my day, and I just didn't know anything. Yeah. No. So I just hope you're. I, I I get the situation is awkward because now like you have um like you can't even hear the television like because it's piped through my ear. I'm probably gonna actually play. Uh, I think the golf story on the Oh, golf story. I hear good things about it, um, so yeah, so I was going to say, hopefully you brought something while I was doing this and we could just, Pooh, just get in the fucking log, please. Get in the log. Get in there. Get in the log. But Austin was nice. Um, I have some pictures I'll show you later, but there apparently was like, um, a new uh, Japanese like bookstore opened up there like a week ago or so and I didn't know what to expect I was like what do you mean like books in Japanese or just like Japanese themed things like I didn't know but it's a very much like um, just like a lot of books in Japanese and stuff and so like your typical like you know manga and shit but also like just book like art stuff from Japan like you know that they like imported from Japan and stuff there was a lot of cool like art books for video games that are all in Japanese but have like really cool art and stuff. Like there's a lot of cool Fire Emblem things that looked really nice. Um, there was a Kingdom Hearts book that I that I really like. If I had money to blow, I was like, could I really justify spending 45 bucks on this kind of thing? And I'm like, I'm like at the moment, no. I wanted to. I wanted to. Especially because I bought, uh, I just, because uh, they were on, like, I got, like, a massive sale for it. Mm -hmm. uh, I just bought myself a new controller, because this one's suffering now. Because I've probably used it quite some time now. But, um, 
So I bought a new controller for like 38 bucks for sale, which is a decent price for the controllers. Yeah, um, but I was like, I just got off done buying that, so I probably shouldn't pay 45 for that book. But I, I longingly looked at the book and was like, if, if I was rich, But yeah, I was disappointed. Updated email. If I forget my password and I have to request a new password. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I did it. I think I finished in the right time. I don't think I ever have to come back to Pooh's World. I think I just have to talk to Owl now. But look at my fucking Keyblade, Colton. Look at the- I gr I spent Saturday off stream. I ground- ground? Grinded? Grinded, like, all Saturday. From when I like, woke up till, like, around 6. Grinding levels, and then mostly synthesis items to get, like, this Keyblade and everything else. I'm not gonna say I I, I I I felt great after I was like this is a nice this is a nice Saturday well spent. It's Ultima Weapon. It is the best key blade in the game. Where the fuck is Owl? Like, uh, that one skin for Little Mac. One skin for Little Mac. In Smash Bros. where he's like the the wire form. Oh. I I see what you're saying now. Yeah yeah. Okay, is Owl not here? Oh, no, he's there. I'm just an idiot. Blended in with the trees. You've been a great help, Sora. You help Pooh get honey from the bees. You help protect Rabbit's carrots. You help find Eeyore's lost tail. You bounced roll. along with Tigger and Rue. And you found all of us when we were lost. Good. We can't thank you enough. This is from all of us in the 100 April Wood. I learned cheer. It's an ability. Like, it really that, since I'm all level, like, 100, like, it's not really needed, but, like, it's nice. It's for completionist sake. I had to do all the mini games at a certain requirement level. But now I'm done with this. So have you already finished, or started Golf Story? Nah, I just got it downloaded last night. Oh. I'm really tired, though. I ended up staying up. So in an effort to stay up and watch one movie and watch one, yeah. I tried the monster last night. Woo! Is yeah. that your first one in a long while? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a sugar-free one. Uh, okay. And it was very inoffensive and it definitely kept me wired. Right. Uh, and I think that might actually be my new soda replacement because... It's the sugar free soda. It's probably a bit better. Yeah, just, I, I, I use heavy clothes better. To hit that, uh, that craving without having to, like, yeah. Uh, Who was everyone else? Like, Ellie. Oh, okay. And Ellie Cooper got first, and I went to the like, okay, I'm going to bed too. And I'm like, I still, like, wires. <laughs> so. I went in and added a bunch of stuff to my my uh, Switch wish list and my previous wish list. And yeah. PSP wish list. And then I wrote out a budgeting plan for myself and I wrote out a workout routine. Oh wow, you were really, uh, <laughs> yeah, had, really productive. I had uh, pretty much nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nice night in Austin. Yeah. Like How long were you there? Uh, I got there around like 4.30 or so and left around like 12.30 or 1.00. Mm -hmm. So it's like a a night. Sounds fun. I, when we were in Austin, because I was up there, uh, I got there around noon. Yeah. Because uh, I was driving back from Katie. Uh, and I kept, I, I knew you were in Austin and I kept like... I'm just gonna. Yeah, there, this is especially these beginning things are gonna be a lot of me just 
clearing house. It's yeah. gonna be like yeah, a, cool, a, a, a yeah, a couple of quick swings. Like I could even just like. Start just really clowning these tools. That's the power of the Keyblade. It is a nice feeling. I wouldn't know. I've never played Majora's Mask, but it is very nice. Like King Hearts One. I mean, all the games too. I I think maybe King Hearts Two, maybe more. So, but in King Hearts One. It is very nice to just be have a nice like arsenal of abilities and also just a ton of strength. That's the power of the keyblade. Strong. Strong. What a pouch quest. Power! Internal alarm. Take that. Mm -hmm. uh, get out of bed any later than like 11 o'clock. So like, I woke up at 11, so ready to. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, I got fucked this past week. Um, because, um, That's the power because of the overtime at work requirements. Uh, instead of having to be there by 9, I had to be there by 8, which meant I just woke up an hour earlier than I'm used to. So I was waking up around, like, 6.30, because then I kind of 6, because I kind of lazily lay in bed for a bit and then just shower and stuff. And now, since I've had, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, my body's still waking up at around, like, 7. Yeah. So every day I've been waking up at around 7 in the morning on, the, on this extended weekend, and I'm just like, this sucks. Um, so I'm like kind of dealing like that. I know kind of sucks, but... Oh, look at that. You hit those guys from the front. Oh, yeah! Oh, uh, because it's ability. Strike rate is strong, Colton. Oh, okay, so these first few tournaments that I'm doing... Uh, I'll be running through each of them a couple times as I think just Sora, because I've already beaten them as the trio, right? So I'm running through them, I never did them as Sora alone, and these are again for more kind of completionist type things where I'll get some abilities and items that I kind of want and need, or I don't need, but that I want. Um, so that's why they're really simple, because this is technically the first tournament in the, the game. Um, I'm just running it solo. And, but again, I just never got around to doing it before, so I'm just gonna be... Now, when I get a few a few rounds later, those will be tournaments I haven't done yet, and they'll be more difficult, oh, yeah. and that's where we'll see, like, Sephiroth. See, I got that ability that I wouldn't have, um, gotten. No, I think I have to get out of it, and I hit, about, yeah, set time limit. So I'll be running through these early tournaments as solo, and then once I would be that solo, then as like a time limit kind of thing. Again, not really difficult, especially these earlier ones, but... Exactly. But then, once the later tournaments will start hitting up like the Titan in Olympus Coliseum. Um, you know, like the Rock Titan and the Ice Titan. You know, like, were those things in... Hercules? They made the character. I But yeah, we'll see those. We'll see Sephiroth. We'll see, like, the cloud and shit. That's what we'll see you know, later on once I get past these first couple of babies. Yeah. And so I was going to open the door up for her, and she walked through it, and Oh, thank you, with her smoker voice. No, yeah. And so I went and grabbed the other door, and she's like, Oh, thank you again, what a gentleman. Oh, God. I do what I can, she goes, Thank you, you too. Oh, no. I know you, that's like a very stereotypical smoker, like heavy smoker voice, you know, 
Also, can't not think of SpongeBob SquarePants like shriveled up. Click. Yeah, like He's now whenever I hear someone do the stereotypical bad voice, I'm always like, oh, it's that gross ass <laughs> chocolate episode. There were so many weird things about that chocolate episode, if I'm being honest. Like, well, I don't even think that episode was really early. I think that was just. I think that probably the early SpongeBob not like, like seminal Spongebob SquarePants, but still in the sweet spot of like, when Spongebob SquarePants is the one that they got. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we also watched uh, the Spongebob movie last night. Not the voice of the movie, but like, 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 Okay, so just that, just you, okay, because I remember we had talked about that before where you hadn't seen those, right? Yeah, uh, I didn't watch Rise of the Silver Silver, but I watched it. Oh, I never watched Rise of the Silver Silver. Watch it. Watch it. It's got to be weird after seeing a bunch of Mark MCU universe, like, yeah. movies. Like. Uh, and, and that's, that's the, like, with the hindsight, you know, hindsight's funny and all that, but, like, that was before they got like the Super Hero Force Star, right? Where like we didn't have to care about the hero. They just wanted to read the show and like shit happened. So it's like, hey, there is these heroes exist and they can do like weird action shit. Like, yeah. Honestly pretty bad special effects. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some of those special effects are really bad. But they made the same joke about Sea Storm getting sick. <laughs> and they made the exact same joke three times. I was like, okay, so like, this movie is about kitties and motorcycle stunts and like, fight sequences and then super awful, upsetting body horror with three pictures. Yeah. Come on. It didn't look as bad as I thought. Like, people were like, oh, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And I'm like, well, the mouse didn't move right, but all things considered, like, it looked okay. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Was so you know the love interest of the thing in in the movie, right? The Ben Grimm's love interest. Yeah. Yeah. The blind girl. Or yeah. His wife. Something? No, the blind girl. Yeah. Is that like was that a character in like the comics ever? Yeah. Exactly. That's like a thing. That is like a, I'm not saying that it's stupid, but I for some reason have, remember that being kind of like oh this is weirdly like. Yeah, heavy was, handed, like, oh, fucking a blind person could love Ben, like, oh. She was, she was definitely a character in the comics, and she gets some, she gets better credit in some ways than others, like, in some of them, she's just Ben Grimm's blind girlfriend, and ever then, she's just, like, a very influential character, and very, like, uh, basically a sounding board for Ben Grimm, like, Ben's Nothing to it. And you know, like I'm, I'm more powerful like this than like my friends at the comics. Is like, I guess I'm aware that I'm more powerful like this, but it fucking sucks and I hate it. Yeah. That's fair. That's the power of the Keyblade! The animation on him is really, really bad, <laughs> which leads me to fear that if they ever did an MCU Dead Rapid 4 movie, that they wouldn't really have to go like that. They wouldn't really be able to do the uh, Ragnarok. Oh, yeah! Oh. Well, that's disappointing. We also have all the worst monsters, so... <laughs> Another aside. Speaking of Fantastic Four stuff, has there ever been a run in the comics where... I mean, good to know, but no, that was not what my question was. Oh, yeah! Um... <laughs> threw me off with that. Um, the big combo. Um, the where different people like Reed had different powers. Am I mistaken in remembering something like that? Where like to really to like where Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards right had the powers of the thing. That's the power of the 
and then got stretchy elastic powers, and it like they got it, like different. You know what I'm saying? Like they were kind of mixed up. It never happened. Oh, okay. That's the power of the Keyblade! Spider-Man is going to play the Fantastic Four. That always seems cool. I remember that. I remember you had that place for that. That's why I was like, I just didn't know. And then after that, the Fantastic Four becomes She-Hulk. Nothing to it. And a girl with pink hair wearing a Ben-Dren suit. What? Yeah, it's like her head is in a bubble, and then her body is the thing. But is she, is it just the suit that gives her the superpower part of herself, or does she, like, have... I never read it because it looked bad, but I can tell you, I just see the covers and I'm like, that looks stupid. Nothing not to it! <laughs> That's fair. What I choose to do is that she and Ben are not a thing. Oh, that would make sense. It's over! Die, 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 I hate you, I hate you. I know you can't hear this, but she's just, imagine her screaming every time I hit her. She's like, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, like, it's kind of... No, I think she just, I think she just sits there like that. And he's going, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, as I'm like hitting him. No, I got this. I mean, I can do that pretty easily. I just haven't really. Oh, he's got a big old blade now, but it doesn't matter. I'm just. You know what I'm saying? No way. I can lose. Oh. He just said, No way I can lose as he was dying. Like, it was very. You know the rules, right? That's uh, Phil Spencer voice. <laughs> you know the rules. You know the rules. And you're cute too. <laughs> I can see fan art uh, of Kingdom Hearts 3 where Cora and the two have cute spears and that's not Cora and the Liberty Alliance. Pierce Spears. Ah, uh, I think that's more Liberty. I don't know if I've seen the Pierce Spears in any trailers or anything. A couple of pieces where they have it, and like, remember, like, at what point during their journey would they be like, hey, this is a good time to Yeah, I mean, there would be only like. The old, like, oh, yeah. eagle and a piece of an apple on the other end, and he's like, hold your breath, Sora! <laughs> They're all sitting in the gummy ship, and he's like, <laughs> don't tell me what it goes in. Would you, okay, you have your Sora, right? And you want to get your ears pierced. Uh, no, who do you trust? Yeah, between problem. those two fools, who do you trust more? I mean, clearly they both don't have experience, and you have to configure like, or you have to figure in like, what kind of hands they have, yeah, or how you know. I trust. Goofy less with that. What? Are you yeah. kidding me? So I've watched the Goofy movie, and all Goofy does. <laughs> is fall over shit and break things and if you have if you can give him an implement with which he can harm me and give him a task where he is actually supposed to harm me minimally i feel like he's gonna like trip up loose over his own feet and shove the entire piercing needle into my eyeball whereas donald will just be like not want to be interested in doing it with a ship 
I would much rather have Dominic do it. Um, uh, I don't trust. No, I mean. Wait, no, I would much rather have Goofy. My bad, I misspoke. Donald would, like, be really left, not, like, not be careful about it at all. Like, Donald would just, just be like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking do it, like... See, but Donald will just fucking do it. Goofy will try to be careful about it, and the more careful you try, the more likely it is that he's gonna I don't think that's... I don't think that, he would be careful and he would get it done. No, he would be careful. He would make you nervous because he would be like nervous himself and he'd be like shaking his hand, his hands would be like no. shaking shit. But the day, Goofy is reliable when it comes to the most and being able to respect But when it comes to physical tasks, Goofy is the worst possible option as far as achieving a precise physical task. I would not have Goofy perform, say, brain surgery. I feel like that would be a disaster. Think about what their their type of character they are. Yeah. Goofy is the... Goofy will try earnestly and fail. Donald Duck will try quickly and probably fail. No. Oh. the ultimate choice. Like, look at that. You want him... Yes. Over, to do that. Over the dog that's standing with his butt as far out behind him as he possibly can get it. It's over! I just, I don't. Now, if I had my choice, I would have to make Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, right now he's trapped in the door behind the door to darkness. Yeah, with Riku. Now maybe Riku is piercing his ears with Mickey right at this moment. You know, he's like trapped behind the door. And okay. Take that. No way. Tron's been a world. I don't think not he will I'm not in you know, three, but there Tron was a world in two and in uh 3D. That'd be cool. Like uh fucking what's his face? Dead Mouth Dead Mouth 5. Uh, enter alone, just Sora. We're blazing, Colton. No more Dark Vanguard, or Dusk Vanguard. Dusk Vanguard. <laughs> you, you stop! Things. That's the power of the Keyblade! I did not mean to cast Stop. Did you eat on your way here? I forgot what you yeah, said. I got the grain. Oh, it was open? Yeah. I wish there was like a spud ramp put one here in San Antonio. I can't wait till we go on another river trip. Colton, I was... Is the time still going? Oh, there's still a person. I was going to say, and you, know, you ruined it. I was gonna... Oh, they're just going here or something. That's why the timer wasn't er wasn't That's the power of the um, Keyblade. Yeah, I know, I need to make sure I don't fuck that up. I was gonna say This is like when Pokemon becomes a trash bag. <laughs> this is a heartless just becomes a fucking shit. Okay. I was gonna say, Colton, guess what? It is river coming up season. Yeah. And I was gonna say, are you fucking That's the power excited? Of the I'm super stoked, but I'm I'm no, I know that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do that. But yeah, we're. That's the one thing that I will tolerate about this heat coming. The hot weather. That's the power of the Keyblade. Every time when he does that, he says, "That's the power of the Keyblade," and I keep wanting to say, "That's the power of love." Like I always think, like. So you try to scuffle him. Um, I suck, so he just gets pissed and then he just goes away. Nothing I don't need to do it. That, that's it. Yeah, that's like that's that round. So you, didn't even beat him. you don't have to kill him. 
he just disappeared. He's like, I'm over it. It is. Can you not see the difference in the colors? There's two bars. There's like a yellow bar on top of the green one. I never considered that. Someone with like your code on it. The, because the, like in this game, health bars can like they change colors. So like you kind of see like a one color over. Oh shit. Okay, stop it. Um, you wouldn't be able to see, like, it's like a really, it's like pitch green yellow on top of a green. And now the green is disappearing and turning into black. Oh, I, I, I didn't even think about that. That's the power of the Keyblade! That's the power of love! That's the power of a Pine Soul Lady. Pine Soul Lady, man. I hope she's having a good life. You think the Pine Soul money is, like, plentiful? You think she got paid, like... You think she got, like, mad money from being Pine Soul Lady? I'm sure she got... Oh, not a man. I don't think she's living off that money. Like, what does she do now? Is she like, uh, do you think she's like a really, like, B-list actress where she's like in things we would never see? Like, time, like, Hallmark movie things? And... <laughs> Heal. Heal. Oh, it's Herc. Aaron, this shirt. Hey, give up yet? Help for the grief. Oh, yeah, that's good. Come on! Aaron, who? Um, that's a friend, Aaron. Oh. Oh, okay. You're not too bad. I'm jealous. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't do that. Hey, give up yet? I gotta pick it up. Oh, I shouldn't be walking on that my problem here. So I gotta eat Glowy, and then to take away Glow, so that I can hit him, I have to toss a barrel at him. And the thing is, the barrels just keep setting themselves up. So, like... Oh, shit. Uh, ow. Okay. And then he gets... Come on! What do you know about, uh, the game? Yeah. Um... I know very little. I've heard people talk about it. Um... Critical Plus. But beyond that, that's about... all I know. I also, uh... Dad told me about a game called Inside, which is apparently in the vein of... Oh, Dad Inside, yeah. Limbo. Yeah, it's the same people that made Limbo. It's rated like 10 out of 10 on everything, on all the gaming sites that I've seen. I wouldn't rate it that high, but I thought it was pretty cool, if that makes sense. Pretty it's a short little game, so if you want just like a... Oh, just like my short little game. Just like your short little penis, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What could I take off? Leaf Bracer. I actually don't need, like, Treasure Magnet anymore. Treasure Planet. hey -o. Treasure Planet. Hey-o. Shmishmo. I just have like Olympus Coliseum music piped through my ears, like a like a chomp. Once I'm done with this, once I'm streaming, done streaming, I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with the food like, later on. So think about what I can do later on. You're right. That's the right amount of supplements I need, or sustenance, or. Like right now? 
Okay. Maybe I'll do it a bit. Is it is it a like a dish? <laughs> well with that answer, I feel like it is. Okay, you said they are cold? Because you know how I don't like not cold beer. I'll take it whenever... I, I, I missed the second part of what you were saying. I said, yeah, I heard the water part. But I don't know what you were saying in regards to the beat. Yeah. I'll take a beer when you grab your beer. After your glass of water. Which picture is it? Hold it up. Which of the two? I mean, if it's... Oh, it might just be a little loose, so you could just... There should be a way to put it back on pretty easily, though. Also, that one's gonna not be as cold, so... The rule is, in this compartment, Colton, is the one against the wall is the colder water. I live by strict rules here at Casa de... Uh, you're not? Because things would tell me otherwise. Well, you know how anti Muppets I am. You know that, right? What? No. I've actually been criticized by people like Madison for not liking Muppets. I think they're overrated as fuck. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you who. I'll say this. <laughs> no. I had a sex stream of swords last night. Right? Towards like the right almost before I'd woken up for the morning. And I'm not going to tell you who, not only because I'm streaming, but I don't want to tell you who, but it would probably be, if you were like, if you were to guess, right, it would probably be like fourth or fifth person you would guess, and that's the only hint I'll give you, because I think it's, it's funnier if I don't tell you, and now you have to try to run through, okay, who you would guess the first couple of people, right, and then not those, but then whoever, like, I, if you were just, who you, if I was to think who you would think, and then you would pick like fourth, like fourth or fifth, who you'd probably say. Yeah. I told you I'm not gonna say it's a no to anything, but <laughs> that's quite the guess, though. <laughs> yeah, that's my math, no, you the fourth or fifth person I would expect. I already know definitely the first two people. Wait, I know who. Like I know who you would probably pick one, but I don't know who you would say two then. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Pick up the fucking barrel! What, his? <laughs> ooh, uh, ooh, uh. I can't do that. That's upsetting. This is... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh shit. Ooh. I need more barrels. Give me a barrel. I have 30 seconds, Colton. Instead, I just start smacking the barrels. Oh my goodness. Pick up a barrel. Throw a barrel. Smack. 16 seconds to spare. Oh yeah! Alright, cool. Now we're in. What? Mesh cable. Yeah. And Butts really, really loved chewing on it more than he loved anything in the entire world. Yeah. And so it stopped working. Uh, but I got a new keyboard. It's awesome. The only problem I have with it is it requires two USB ports to plug in for some crazy reason. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Right, I'm sorry. I'm being dramatic. It's, it's, but what about it? it? Makes it awesome? Well, it's, so it's uh, mechanical, and I can't. Uh, ha! 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 Ha!
this one has brown switches and stuff, but not so quickly that I can use it never. Like okay. Normal, it just has a very satisfying button press. It's very... Uh, and it's very well set up for you. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. I know I always see like Kiki Green on Twitter, but what, what where did he start see being famous? If that makes sense? Oh, okay. It's one of those that you, if you saw, I think uh, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember what this is. Okay. I remember this all now. Like it was yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. We did it! Dude, I have the worst sitting posture. Really bad. I saw, um, at the Japanese thing, there was, like, little books that were, like, how to... There was something that was, like, how to fight. And then it was, like, how to sit. And I was like, I could really use the how to sit one. Oh, so, who's the other one? so that one just got back. Yeah. And then this other one that I backed a while back had a... The monster you one? Hmm? Wasn't there a monster yeah, the one? So the Forsaken Forest is the one Oh. We're gonna reopen it in four days uh, with new a new budget and new thresholds and uh, more realistic, not, uh, more realistic like funding and other things and stuff like that. So please, 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 back the new Kickstarter when it's open. Uh, that sounds like a recipe for yeah. Seriously, like it, it had like twenty something days left, and it was already at fifty eight percent funding. Uh, and I'm like, good luck with your retention. Yeah. And are you gonna retain? I'm, I'm definitely gonna be back because I really Behemoth! You wanna take that back? The whole thing is you gotta climb up his like muscly butt. And kind of like get up on top. Of him and, yeah, Cole and I am so ready for Kingdom Hearts 3. You don't even know. Oh, I'm just so ready to kick that off. Hey! Hey! Got him. Four days. I want to see your shirt. Bazaar has been upgraded to Buzaga. I like it. Big, big old fan of your shirt. Ah! 
Yet the power of So I find Alright, another one you knocked off. Uh, so we, we ended up watching uh, before Ellie got there, and I watched Soft. Nothing to it! Uh, uh, but I still loved it. Uh, the whole. The, the reason. One of the reasons that Jigsaw really passed uh, uh, the main was that he spent his whole life uh, opening doors without hearing them before. So, what? Like, they find out the history of the cop or whatever, and like they flash Nothing back several to... times in previous movies where he would just barge through a door and they like, hey, that ended poorly for him in the scene or whatever. And that was like a big point they made at the end where it's like the final trap if you had bothered to clear the door instead of just barging through it, then you would have survived it. And I was like, what is weird, like random point to make in this? in this movie at this moment where it's like yes your suffering uh, is all because you don't properly check doors before you go through them and like that's so to some extent maybe it's like but to that other extent no because they flash back to time where he literally did not clear doors before opening them, opening them and suffered the consequences for it. Uh, uh, so we, we watched that yeah uh, we watched the UC. Uh, which was stupid and not like upsetting. Well, no, it's like upsetting with two things. Yeah, it was in that time. Not just even though it's upsetting, but not also not just like it, it, it hit that middle line. Oh, yeah. It was just in the fence of the game. Okay. Uh, and then we watch The Matrix. Yeah. Like the, I imagine if I had seen him do some of the scenes like the bullet dodge and stuff like that would would have done much more. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I had to be able to do it. 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 I had to be able where they're running with the trench coats and gunning down like on Yeah. A little bit even like possible. Because like I was I was watching it and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Because like the problem is that the problem is like Yeah. But I get it because see that was you the first thing that she got. But still it is a dope fucking movie, like I I always say my metric for action movies is how many times I go, yes! <laughs> it had some really solid moments. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I don't think I've seen The Matrix of the ever. Um, I've seen choice parts of it. Right. Or Kiraga, who's just with the upgraded first, so. I probably should have put on some better items. Uh, specifically, like magic increasing ones, but hindsight and all. Hindsight's like 40 40 or whatever. Hindsight is 1 over 1. Equals one, because that's called simplifying crap. I'm not a dummy. You're a math boy. I'm a big old math boy. What items do I have on? I don't think great. 
Well, you learn some, you lose some. Or something. Can you mind to be part of that? Do I look like shit? Do I look like a goddamn treat? This is like a second screen experience. You know what I'm saying? You know, like when people are like, oh, it's a second screen experience. Like there's a stream, and if someone was like watching the stream or watching the video, and then you, whatever you put the photo on, so I guess. Why am I like smiling or whatever? What was I saying? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I like the first picture better. I agree. Yeah, I was curious as to why you had the flash on. Oh That's yeah. The power of the keyblade. Apple is crazy. I was thinking about it. So these shadows, right? You know these things are heartless. You're familiar with this heartless, the standard, pretty typical, whatever. If I was to get, if I was to kind of break my non, or my, if I was going to get a nerdy tattoo, and it had to be not super, like, obvious kind of thing, I don't think I'd ever do it, but if I, like, like, get a tattoo of shadow, like, if I was, say, if I was to get a tattoo of shadow, and it's like, here, like, on, like, upper pec area or something, it would just be a big old black blob, like, that's what, like, how would you do that without it just being, like, a big old black thing? So do it. Would you have to do like artistic shading and shit? I would say do it very small, like a polo or a lap or a logo on your chest, and just do like the very <laughs> faintest of like outlines. So it would be like the, the little uh, antenna. antenna or whatever. You may not even want to color it in, but like just like a. Like just a little, like, Come on. Like, okay. I mean, that makes a bit more sense, but like, I just, sure, if you got like a little, little shadow tattoo, but I was just thinking like straight up, like, if you just got the full actual thing, what, the armor thing? Because that, yeah, no one would get that. Everyone would be like, what is that? Speaking of mis- like, mis- identifying nerdy things, I was thinking about when we did the- the humanized dress up versions of the fours and stuff. Remember that? And there was a one person like, Are you the aperture chef? Like, it was like, <laughs> like just that line. Just, I was like, You know what? Made the cake. No. No, that's not me. No. <laughs> Uh, I just, I love that, like, confusion statement, which, like, fair, like, if you're, like, if you looked at me at that time, you're like, ah, I don't know what that is, but, like, <laughs> what are you, the aperture chef? Because, like, there was, <laughs> I, have the I mean, people, the aperture. people in the aperture signs them probably got hungry at some point, you know, like, they have to have chefs there, but... Yeah. God, there's still another guy. See ya. That's the power of the keyblade. Yeah. But uh, VFD, I put that too on the inside of my left ankle. Okay. But like in the original, not the the style that they did. I didn't use the method. Use the little. Yeah. That'd be cool. This should help. And it'd be covered by my soft touch like this, so. Yeah. It'd be good, it'd be good, it'd be good, it'd be good. Alright, Colton, who's cooler? That's the best you can do. Cloud or Leon. Qual. Boy. Damn. Take that! Get this! Actually, I don't know what more. Who has the bigger fandom? I think the Cloud is to the point where people actually shit on Cloud more because he's like he's the more perceived popular one, or the more perceived popular game. So people would like shit on Cloud and be like, oh. So he came from Final Fantasy VIII right after Seven. So this is in their time. So they did Seven, and then they're like, let's have another kind of booty boy, and got Eight, and it was. 
but you are a broody boy. You're a broody boy. Look how broody you are. Look at your broody face. It's all. Oh god. Oh no. Now I did the work. Oh shit. That's gonna be awkward. We just created like a thing in the corner, and it made the audio gonna be funky for like two seconds. How long is Christine out? Until June 10th. Ooh. I'm going to go crazy. Crazy! I'm going a little bit crazy! <laughs> like day like three? Like it's not even that far, like you're like insane. <laughs> Oh yeah, that'll be fun. How far away is it from, like, say, I don't know, my apartment? Like, drive like distance. It's probably what I. Aww. You hear drive? Oh god. Yeah. Still, I'm not a fan of that. That's the power of the Keyblade. That makes it harder for me to come and, you know, live with you guys, basically. Yeah. Eat your food and. Ooh. <laughs> Sure. Right. But if things went south, isn't there like a possibility that you really will hate yourself and never want to fix a car again? Like, is that a possibility? Right. Okay. That's fair. Oh, thank you. Thank you, buddy. What did you grab? That's the Blue Moon song. It's the Blue Man song. I'm making quick work of this cool. After this, it's a couple more bosses in Olympus Coliseum, and then we got actual difficult things, possibly, that I haven't done since I was, like, really young. So it will probably be, like, me screaming. If, if I die a lot. Um, like, I, I feel like Sephiroth, Sephiroth isn't that hard, but, like, it could be annoying. Um... Uh -huh. <laughs> like she wants to do like a Jack the Ripper tour or something. Or a cheap shot or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know where they go, because those things sound rad as shit. Like, I imagine what her mom has to do is find the closest place to sell wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, do they not have like. So they hit up a couple places, right? They like travel through? Or is it. <laughs> So do they not plan for like days where it's like, oh, here's a day everyone can like split and do things that would be interesting? Like that's what I'm. Yo, hey, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> yeah, uh, got a minute? Hades, Lord of the Dead. Nice to see you. Hey, guess what? That's I got a place. Yeah, I never really went on family vacations the whole time like that either. They're all such a large family and all. It's more difficult to do shit like that. Oh, I'm gonna beat up her too, for Hades. Oh, ow. 
Ow, 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 Again, this is a hindsight moment, but because I'm what oh, send him away. Because I'm level 100, and all the CXP I'm getting, and like I'm getting like upgraded forms of the magic and everything, it doesn't really mean anything. Like I probably should have done that earlier. Hey, what, what are you doing? Stop! Hey guys, get away from me! But I'm not smart. I mean, it's nice, like I said, I'm not having difficulties with this. It's nice to kind of just go through and clear house, but. A little bit more planning on my end would have done me some good, maybe, but I won't lose sleep over it. Nothing to it. It's upsetting that you will lose sleep over my little penis. <laughs> Got him. Come Santa Claus, come Santa Claus, do 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 were well, we seeing a different version there? Also, I don't know how well the audio quality is if they can hear you. So there's gonna be moments like that where, like, I start doing like the background music to it, and they're like, "What is? <laughs> what's going on?" Oh, he's still up. <laughs> Mad mushrooms! Yeah. Look at these fucking things, dude. Yeah. They won't even attack you. They just... They just... Oh, not I need... Thunder. Fuck it, I'm not gonna hit them all. Plane travel is not bad, but plane travel is the worst. Nope, plane travel is bad. Plane travel sucks. Plane travel is obnoxious. I hate, I hate people. I hate what people do, like, turn into at the airport. And that goes for the, like, security, like, the employees at airports. Um, it's the, the fucking other people riding trains, or, or trains. What am I thinking? And cars, trains, planes, trains, and automobiles. Um, but like, people are weird. Like, everyone like slows things down because they try to be faster about it. Like, everything is stupid. Everything. Yeah, security theater is nothing really to. And, I don't know. I just get really stressed out in airports. Like, I'm, I'm always convinced that I'm going to do something wrong and then I'm going to miss myself. The chance of dying. I mean. I mean, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but... Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I remember I just recently read like a huge Twitter thread because of the current, you know, school shootings and everything and how it was so weird that, or not weird, but as a kid it was ingrained like in, during like second grade or something. He's probably like, it was our, around, he's probably around our age, because he was making the but he was saying how around second or first grade or whatever, he was told, oh, here are the exits, if something bad was happening, here's where you could, you know, escape from or whatever, like very, but that carried with him all the way through, um, like, every grade, he, he had just finished, like, school or something, or something and he was like, the, the nicest thing about it was that, he, it was so ingrained in him that even through college, like, every time he got into, like, a new classroom or whatever, he would have to, like, worry about and take the time to mentally, like, be like, okay, exit here and here, and if some, if this were to happen, then I'd be doing this, and this is how I'd react, like, and how, like, I, I know I'm not summarizing it well, but it was, like, this thing where it was, like, this big old mental thing for him where it was, like, he would get exhausted with rethinking, like, oh, shitty things could happen, and this is what I'd have to do in this situation, and this is... And it was like this whole big thing, and he was like, he was rethinking about it all because of the uh, current situation and stuff. And I know I did a terrible job with this one, but no, he's just saying it's fucked up that that had to be the case. His claim was more that he's he's mad, and he's mad that they're now kids now with it's even being more of a possibility that more and more kids and stuff will have, that'll be like situations where it's like yeah that sucks and i know like this is a lot what a lot of people are saying i don't unless things do change at some point soon i know i'm far off far away from the point in my life where i want to have kids but I don't think I would want to, part of me now being like, I would want to have kids is knowing that I'd have some kind of plan for them to be homeschooled or whatever. Um, like, and I, like I said, I know I'm not close to having kids or anything, but one of, aside from, oh, and financially will I be able to have a kid or do I want the responsibility and all that? Another thing I know, unless things change, this one thing I'm going to be is like, Will I be able to get them not have to go through public school? Yeah. And that kind of is annoying. But um, it was playing some heavy music. I think we're going to be doing some, yeah, rock type. So like, that's obnoxious. But it sucks. <laughs> that was good. Oh, he fell down. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I climb him? Oh, shit. Get on the Titan's back! Get on his front. Oh, I am just way more stuck. I oh, know, I think they're just like multiple buttons. It's just, like, it's like a button to the screen, I think. This is just a massive beat of down. Oh, he knocked me off my hand. Oh, I beat him. That was like a minute top. That was like, uh... I have no intentions of wanting to run through with those 50 levels I just did by myself and then I'm going to time limit right now on stream. I'll do that some other time. I've got Sephiroth to kill. I'm coming up so you better get this party started. Oh, Donald made him bald! Uh, Did you see that? Uh, he put Donald his head fire on his head that. off. Excuse me, uh, uh, I'm coming that. up, so you bet. And see, that would be a nice ability to have for actual game, and... Here I am just being a dumb dumb. A dumb dumb? A dumb dumb boy. A dumb dumb. A dumb.
Alright, so we beat the rock titan, now we got another titan. The cooler titan, if we're being honest. I don't think there's a real trick to this, but can I... Ow. Maybe there are tricks to this. I think I'm not doing it right, Colton. I think I have to reflect because... I think I have to Nope, and I'm sucking. Fucking block it, Sora! Oh my goodness. I'm coming up so you better get this party started. Am I doing this right? I don't know. The reflecting the only thing I can do? I don't know. Oh, there he goes. Now he's down. Come on. I'm a than Everybody's waiting for me to ride. <laughs> I don't know what said after that. Kicking my ass. Isn't that a line you know? There's something about, I remember there's something saying asking the line, because I remember like hearing the cleaned up version on MTV or something, and it's not, um, it's like, blood, like, you know, something like that point, so. Happy, 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 greatly, 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 I'm just messing the timing up, there's a problem, I don't know. Well, I thought of that song, because you start beatboxing, and it sounds just like the opening to when in Pitch Perfect 3, where they open up with that song during the rip-off. I know I'm using a lot of lingo that here. Pitch Perfect 4 lingo. So in every Pitch Perfect movie, there's a thing they call the rip-off, and it becomes like a thing, like... And in the third game, they riff off the riff off. It's like, it's actually kind of genius how they do it, but they change up the formula a bit. It's, it's good. That's a good series of stuff. Uh, I, I'm real. It's like I'm doing the off, like not brute force thing because I'm defending. Like I have the block thing, but like I don't care about getting hit, so it's kind of like brute force thing, like block to just win. So I'm not actively trying to get any of those other attacks coming at me. Kind of old book though. I was trying to make it some kind of joke about like the death note or something, but I didn't know how to actually turn that into a joke. I still haven't watched the Netflix death note, and I'm like waiting for like when should I? When? Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know when I should pull the trigger on that. So I still want to see it. Um, I got to see my William Defoe. So. And whatever, whoever the main character's name is. It's that he's a no guy. <laughs> Netflix kid. What, like he made his name on other Netflix shit? Is that what you mean by that? Um, clearly not. <laughs> He signed up for the wrong project. I I was in like, so very, 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 very
Was it, and it, by, based on the colors, was it really action heavy? Was it like dumb action? Yeah. 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 Ah, the chess, the chess map type thing. In that, in that, in the manga and the anime is just really good. Really good. Yeah, this one is like very, uh, pseudo Not amusing. Not Do they have any female leads in that? No, or is it just like female, like shitty parts? Lisa, but they sort is she like a main factor? Yeah, they kind of change up their relationship between like and Misa and it's really good. The rules are reversed. It's hilarious. Now I am the big guy. Take that! I'm the big guy. You're the big penis. I'm Diamond dust. So I got a keyblade out of it. Mm -hmm. Again, oh, not God. doesn't matter, and it's not as good as the one I have, so it's just pointless. But uh, we can look at it, right? Mm -hmm. We can admire it. Diamond dust. Ooh, kind of dinky compared to. I don't know. So is my penis. Weak too, dude. Yep, he's not saying anything that isn't my penis. Seven elements. Seven elements. Look at this just shield for Goofy. Now, see how it's like Mickey heads? Yeah. But then, like, one of the ears of the Mickey head is another Mickey head? Mm -hmm. You see how it kind of like builds up on that? Yeah. It's kind of kind of cool, I thought. Genji. This I is, need healing. is weak. Oh, I never put that together. I'm going to casually considering trying Overwatch again, because I have Christine's account to fill out. I think now would be a good time. I mean, you can just kind of jump in and have some fun. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. Okay, now we're in, I've got to actually set good items, Colton. Don't do it. Um, we're doing the big guy. We're... We're doing a big guy? We're doing... Wait. Stock slot for this. What? Wait, what? Did so I? So I made an improvement to my work quality of life thanks to an Amazon purchase. What's that? What I got this mean? two oh. big glass pop top decanters. Okay. Uh, that I'm going to do like what my mom does it at my house and fill them up with water, both of them up with water and chill them in the fridge and then pull them out and refill them one at a time. Uh -huh. So that I will always have cold water throughout the day because our ice machine has been broken for a very, very long time. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. And no one is bothered to fix it. Everyone hates Colton. Alright, here we go, Colton. This is gonna be a first time, first go. This is gonna be a for one, one time only. I'm max level. I can't lose. Look at this over unnecessary thing. Like it's, it's like it's so out of weirdly played. Bum. The one-winged angel. Would you have sex with this man? I know next to nothing about Sephiroth other than the memes. So the memes, rather. So yes, I would. I don't know why he has the one wing. I don't know why he's considered the ultimate bad guy. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you know nothing about the series, oh no, village. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Too. He's very right. Um, if you only know him through like references and shit, Final Fantasy VII in general is gonna be just weird. Like, it's just I don't know. That's because it's very reference heavy. Yeah. That's right. I mean, I know it's me, but that's a spoiler. But what if someone heard you say the spoiler? Someone consider that their ultimate. What would?
would be in in our lifetime. What what is the world ultimate horror? That something about Star Wars? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the the blue guy of your father. Is that the ultimate spoiler? You know what I mean? Like that's a lot. Oh, what I meant by I didn't mean by like our time like that. I meant of all time, like of a human being's lifetime. Oh shit! Look at this. Oh, no, we're oh. To be one. That's fair. I remember when I saw that, because I, at that time I was out of the book, so like I wasn't. And I just remember seeing that and being like, oh, oh like, I know now, what do I do with this knowledge? I think I'm actually, I mean, for not knowing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, just kind of brute forcing it is kind of working. Like, I didn't expect this to be super difficult for me. Because I am such a high level. Like, most people will recommend, like... Uh oh, I think I'm... I almost died there. So he, the worst part about that is he has that attack. Where he, it's like an audio cue. And if you don't hit him in time, he basically wipes all your... Um, HP and MP. So you have to make sure you have an item that will be able to restore it all. Um... Again, but I just see them. See, I, he did it to me, and I was down to 1 HP, but I was able to kill him. Look at that, that was simple, Colton. What? This, the rest of the stream is going to be easy. Now he's all sad or something. Sad or something. And his big chunky hair is flying behind him. Thank goodness for overleveling for situations. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. He's gone. I saved the world, and I got one winged angel keyboid. Fine. Is that worse than the one you currently have? Probably. It's, oh yeah. yeah! It's that thrust. I just killed some gray-haired man. Like I, he I has no idea. He oh. has no idea. He's like, I don't know who that is, but I just killed him. Let's He's see. Has little power, but sometimes deals extremely powerful critical blows. Reduces max MP by two. Yeah, that's not good. That's bad. Man. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but... Ultimate Keyblade raises max MP by 2 and possesses maximum power and attributes. And it's got... it's long. It's, it has great range. We're, we're done with Olympus, Colton. You did it! Or as done as I will be here. So we have three secret bosses, and then we're done. I know that song. Well, I know you can't work in fast food all your life, but don't sign that paper tonight. She said that it's too late. Oh, what's going on here? What is this? Don't Am I getting a cutscene? Don't remember what they read. Guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. And now you get to play as Cloud as a playable character. That would be cool. But I already kicked his ass. He'd be dead. Now you do this time. I think they just have like a dumb fight scene if I remember. And then they kiss. And then they make out. I do like Cloud's design in this game. I always like the tattered like cape and then the bandaged up sword. Mm -hmm. Why did you put bandages on the sword? That seems like a bad idea. That's like a thing in anime, right? Like, what is it actually? Like, why? Zabuza. Is it like you're right. withholding power? Like, it's like you're weakening your sword? Well, like, I it's like a self-restraint thing? I know Kisame did it in Naruto because his sword was just covered in shark scales. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that guy. They have, uh, for the Switch, Naruto Shippuden 1, 2, and 3 as a bundle for 40 bucks. And I'm really considering it just to have, uh... Like a good fighting game on retainer. When I hung out in Austin, uh, Maya's boyfriend, Will, yes, yeah, for a while now, um, he brought his switch and he had a 
are the one, two, and three games on them. Because they're not bad. I used to have the ultimate battle one for who was playing the team that I didn't hear anything good. Look at look, they're fighting. It's just it's it's just like uh Red or what's that? Is it uh Advent Children? Remember that? No. Have you ever see that? No, the only Final Fantasy game that I ever played were the ones with Terra and Final Fantasy III, the remake of the original Okay. Wait. I guess Final Fantasy IV is the Terra? Yeah. Like the girl? Yeah. Yeah, that's six. Oh, is that six? Yeah. Is you're saying those are the games you play. Yeah, okay, I was, I was mistaken. I thought you were saying you saw the movies. I'm like, they didn't make a movie for that. Oh no, when I'm saying Advent Children, it's like a Blu-ray movie. And it got heavily memed upon. Because it's like, the story is stupid and complex and it just adds to the dumbness of the Final Fantasy VII mythos. But then it is like, it was one of the first like, it was actually one of the first like Blu-ray Blu-rays where it was like highly toted as it's a super beautiful CG yeah. movie and like it is really nice looking but it's like stupid <laughs> so like so you watch it because it looks nice yeah you would yeah like it has some new characters in it like bad guys and you're like these guys are stupid alright so do you know what secret boss is up next? um Pluto Pluto the secret boss Pluto no, it's a dude named Kurt Ziza. And if I'm not mistaken, I'll leave him alone. Um, it's a boss named after a guy who won a contest. So he got to name the character, and I think his name was either like Kurt or Kurt Ziza. And he got to name this heartless boss, that guy. So some guy won a contest, and now his name is used as like a... Nah. Now I don't know what I'm supposed to actually do here, so um, yeah, so I might die sometimes. I, think that. I think I attacked the orb. I know I've I've seen this boss in my younger past. Um, back in the day. What'd you get on there? Oh, yeah. He gets that power ring on there. Oh. Yeah. I am just kind of brute forcing this, so I think this isn't going to last long. Uh, so, cut these, everyone. Like, I don't know if this is fun to watch if, like, I'm just, like, not really struggling against some of these bosses. I it's more... I think I should attack this one. Can I get this one? Yeah, I should just do this one. Alright, well, flash, 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 flash. Okay, out of my way. Blast the bubbles! Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not doing much damage. Um, I probably, I think, I think I'm supposed to actually thunder the better method. But, Bop, bop, bop. And... <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like, I'm... This is, like, power fantasy, like... Like, remember the game drums where it's like... Yeah, I really need Donald to help me with this. But, um, like, game drums where they had that scene where they were silver. Like, that hedgehog that could do the psychic powers. And it was, like, a whole power fantasy where they were just fucking up Sonic. Uh, uh, yeah. See ya. Yeah. That's one of the most famous videos. Oh, I broke it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and that was obviously years and years ago now. But like that, Aaron, like without sounding dumb or anything, is very well knowledge. Not well knowledge, but is, is well has like well. Or not even opinions, but well knows how things should work. Like, w more recent, like, just Game Drum fans will be like, Oh, he's a guy who plays games poorly and just mad at them or whatever. Like, but, like, he, like, obviously he has, like, an animator and shit. But, there, before that, like, he, he's not a dumb person. You haven't watched that before? Yeah, he has another sequel I did. Uh, the one on uh, 
and it's probably the other people I like, maybe even a more famous, is the uh, Legend of Zelda one. Have you seen that one? Maybe we should watch that if you want. Or, I mean, I, we're not, you're not leaving here. Do we need to watch the uh, Battle Box? Because I want to watch that. This is so much fun. Once we've had beers and shit. It's a good thing I actually am playing these bosses really easily because this is a nice, like, I'm not even having to worry about, like, I'm like, oh, well, I'll, you know, the stream will be over soon because I'm just clearing out. And... Look at the snake head on this. I like the design of the boss. <laughs> yeah, it's his it's likeness. Oh, I have to do this. I have to rely on the fire again. Here I go. Fire! If you can't hear Colton singing a song that we frequently sing for karaoke. Fire! Fire! How dare he interrupt my fire? See ya! Heal! Fire! Donald, do some magic. See ya. Fire, 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 burn, 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 burn. I'm almost, I'm out of magic, Colton. See ya. Yeah, I just thought it should be a little more food about that, but it's fine. Curing is for wussy. Give me more magic balls. Oh, I need to hit it with my sword to turn this spit out magic balls. My bad. Look at that. Alright. We're back in this hole. Dude, you know I'm, we're really overpowered when even my sidekicks aren't dying. Like, you know how they're like, during bosses and shit, like, it's very typical for them to just die? Like, even that's not even happening. Like, all of us, we, we roll strong in this party now. Got it. Mm -hmm. That looks to be very heavily inspired by Fire Emblem, right? So, turn based style, turn based style. Very, it looks like a. Uh, the art style is very very similar to the Okay. So, the art style is very different. Okay. So, the art style is very different. I'm very intrigued by it. Like, I'm, I think I might want to give it a shot. It's like one of those $15 indie titles. Okay. That does sound cool. Yeah. And it's set in like a Viking setting, I think. Mm hmm. I'm intrigued. Two more bosses, Colton. Go, 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 go. Uh, so it's now Neverland. We gotta go to. This is possibly gonna be the hardest boss because, from what I remember, this is like um, it's more like nuanced. Like you can't just wail upon him. You've got to like you gotta like oh I gotta make sure the clock on the tower doesn't go to zero or some stupid shit like that. And you have to carry Peter Pan with you. So who do we sacrifice? Donald or Goofy? I think I think we gotta give up Sacrifice Goofy. Sora. Play as Peter Pan. Whoa, he turned into a... Are you gonna fight the crocodile? What? Are you fight the crocodile? I wish that would be like secret boss. Crocodile. <laughs> Okay, so what's the deal with the crocodile on a uh, an alarm clock? Why does he make the tick tock sounds? Is that because he ate a clock or? Yeah, he ate a clock or something. Well, he ate his hand, didn't he? That's how he got the hook. Yeah. So then what's that to do with the clock though? I'm never ever sure with what the hell that movie is. Or, like, that's one of the movies that I don't have great familiarity with. Uh, where the fuck is Tinkerbell? 
Where is Tinkerbell? Where is she? Do you want to do me a favor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this leads to nowhere. Why did I climb it? Go down here. Yeah, no, but I'm purposely climbing up this way now. Um, but this didn't lead where I wanted it to go either, Colton. Um, this way. Tinkerbell. Tinker. Tinker stink. Nope, wrong door. This door. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell! Hey, hey. Okay. What is it, Tink? You want to go to the clock tower? Clock it's up tower. to you, Sora. Okay, let's fly together. Let's fly together. Okay. Ooh, I probably should have set some magic. I'm gonna get fucked, I think, but Good it's fine. Luck. Who are you fighting? Is it a clock tower? <laughs> I fight the clock tower itself. Look at that thing! What Look, the fuck is that? <laughs> you know, in the ne in Peter Pan the movie, this <laughs> this antagonist flying ghost monster. <laughs> okay, so the whole thing about you this know, the Dementors that you fight in Peter Pan. So the whole thing about this is you gotta put um, stop on the clock because when it reaches zero or some shit, um, one of your party members automatically dies. I believe is the. It. Yeah, it'll resume in a bit, so I gotta keep my eye on it. That's the most difficult. And then the color of his orb that's below him just corresponds to how you can hurt him. So it's a big, long... Uh, it's, so it's more nuanced, like I can't just... And I don't know what this is. I don't know why I've got purple floating after me. But, okay, so I got you listen. Oh, now I gotta do thunder. See, I should have done some. There we go. I need to take a look at the clock. Is it moving? No. We're fine. We're fine for right now. But yeah, it's... See, you see how Peter Pan has an 11 above his head? He will be... He dies and it reaches zero. Um, I don't know. I've always have had those um, for the longest of time, and I don't... Oh, shit. It's moving, it's moving Colton. But I don't know where... I, I got him sometime during, like, high school, but I don't know... When? Do they have a stop Aga? They do, and I'll get it um, when I beat him. Like, you get the final upgraded version of the Look at the. This is like a thing of nightmares. Like, if I'm being honest, I think this design of this enemy is really good. Because it is just. Oh, Yeah, this is a. This should help Oh, it's red. It's red, Colton. It's fucking red. Alright, let me check back on the clock. Is it about to go? No? Am I good? I'm, I'm actually impressed. I, they automatically built, it looks like, uh, Donald's magic. He will automatically start casting what he should be doing against the boss. Nice. Am I gonna get hit with this? Is it moving? Oh, it's moving, Colton. It's moving. Okay. I'm about to run out of magic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he is? Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, I can't hit him with the blizzard. Yeah, no. Fuck me. Also, flying in this game is not the funnest thing to do, so. That's a pain in the ass. Like I said, I think this will be the hardest boss, so if I can actually... Oh, I can hit him and he me If I can actually get past this, I think that would be good. I have a feeling the clock is going to start soon. So you can have to stop by it. But... I don't think so. But I can try him with a shot. Um, let me do an elixir as well, so I get that. Ow! Alright, hit him with the fire. Hit him with the fire. Yeah! And hit him over some... Hit him with... I can't 
can't. Now hit him with two blizzard. Blizzard in the gooch. That's what I call that attack. Get some, get some blizzard right in your crotch, man. <laughs> I like how Peter Pan just has an eerie, like, stick above his head. He's like, sorry, you better not let that fucking get down. For the love of God, you better fucking freeze it. Oh, yeah, the thing wasn't moving. That's actually, yeah. You come up with a good tactic. I'll go for my run of not letting anyone die. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, I need closer. Nah, fuck me. See ya. Oh, yes. Punk move. Oh, there we go. He's almost dead. He's getting there. This isn't that bad. It's, it's easy that I know what I'm doing. I'm sure if like you didn't either know, like you've never done this before, or you were not wanting to look up the strategy, I'm sure people would be like, what the fuck is going on? Like young me, I'm pretty sure I had difficulty even figuring out why people were dying automatically. And it took me forever to figure out, you know, that I had to stop on the clock. But Thunder. See ya! See ya! Let's dose this in spot though. I'm willingly really, willingly taking hits from this guy so I can finish this off. Just want some lubricated mouth Fire. people. Fire. Is the clock moving? No. Okay. Stop. It, I, it made a sound in my ear that made it sound like it was trying to warn me that the clock was moving. The the swirly or the yeah I don't. Hit you with some fire. I mean, fire. Some fire. See ya. Now fire. Now white. Ah. Thunder. Thunder. Check on the clock. Stop run. Might be Ah, he's reaching into the neck hole. Yes. Yes. Yes, Colton. Yes. I'm the best at Kingdom Hearts in the world. No one can beat me in my ability. Oh, I'm out of magic. Thunder! I did it. Nine, 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 nine. Experience for me. One more boss, Colton, and I'm done with Kingdom Hearts. For this might be the last time I ever play the original Kingdom Hearts. I'm thinking about it like, what? I doubt that. I mean, I've played it so many times now in my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't. But but that point, I'll have play. I will be wanting to play Kingdom Hearts three like a million times over. You know. Stop. Stop. Oh, that's cool that the clock stopped it, then. Right? I think I can make it move. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just making that up. Lie. I'm a big old liar. Isn't there like a door or something here? I thought there was some kind of like... A something. You want to see some terrifying shit? Ah, oh, Sora's gonna die! No, nope, he stops himself. Oh, do you want to see what this is? Look, look at Donald. Like his floating up animation. It's adorable. I mean, his fall is just like that. But I always love how Donald, he just like butt first, like. He does like the dog does in Peter Pan. The dog? The dog is accidentally flying its spinning its tail in the air. Oh, see, I don't remember. Neverland, like, the, or Peter Pan movie. Did you watch the one? I definitely have, but it's been forever. Um, I thought there were, like, doors or something here. Well, I know that, but I'm saying, like, doors I could interact with, but these don't seem to be things. Maybe 
something about me below you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. These look like fake decorative doors. Oh. That's just a safe point. Okay, let me try this. Yeah, these don't look like doors either. It was all a lie. It was all a sham. Sham wow. Sham wow. Possibly the greatest info product available in the market. What about Oh, that's a classic, you're right. How dare I disrespect OxyClean. Look at that maxed out money, too. I'm just... Alright, Colton. We've got... Maybe... May, I know... I said that might have been the toughest boss. But what I'm about to may be the toughest boss. <laughs> that? Oh my god! That would be cool! Friend, uh, Kurt, Kurt Zita. Kurt Curtis Ziza. Okay, I honestly thought this stream was gonna have to be like four hours long to get all this done, and I'm only just now hitting two. So like, I'm like, okay, this is actually. So look at all the princes of heart, right? They're all like chilling in this room because they're like, I don't know what to fucking do. Look how out of place Alice is. I'm still upset Alice is a princess of heart because I don't, she's so out of place with everyone else, if I'm being honest. Not only because she's a child and short, and not a princess. but she's not even close to a princess compared to everyone else. So, boo, they could have had Meg or something. Just throw Meg in there. She would have been cool in this. But she would have been cool. If they're going to do it wrong, they should Yeah, at least pick someone time. worth... Worth it. Oh, you're so right. Thank you. Um, okay, so I'm putting on good items for this shit. The best items I could get. Mm -hmm. I think I don't think I'm. I think I'm stuck with the high potions because I I'm maxed out everything. Else, so that's fine. Um, let me see. Trinity limit. Channel the party's remaining MP to crush surrounding foes. Max minimum three MP. Cost all MP. Oh, see, that's just a cool ass ability. Um, I should show it off at the very least. Let me. Oh, what's Santa's? Has a 30% chance of unleashing a finishing combo attack that can destroy a weaker enemy. So just like a one hit KO move. It's like Horn Drill. And you basically if you're. Have, uh, and I'm already. Yeah. Okay, so watch. Let's see if I can pull off. How do I do this? Here we go. Oh, he's already dead. They already pulled him. I didn't even get the... Yeah. It's supposed to look cool, but fucking Doofy killed the guy before I even did anything. Okay, well that was stupid. Okay, so take off turn a limit. Put Shear back on. Uh, powers up summons. I think. Let me see. Increase the summons MP gauge, giving them more time and attacks for battle. Um... I think this should be fine. Oh, are you singing that one song? I've got the magic in me. Every time I touch that track, it turns into gold. Everybody knows I've got the magic in me. When I hit the floor, the girls come something at me. Now everybody wants a blast of magic, 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 ma- Do you know that song? I don't. Damn it. It is- Do you want to know who sings that song? Uh, or specifically that part? So it's a B.O.B. song. Will Arnett. Featuring, not Weezer, but featuring Rivers Cuomo. It's just him singing the chorus to that song. And so it's, it's a B.O.B. song featuring Rivers Cuomo. So there you know. No, fuck. I got distracted oh, by the that's magic why song. I said magic. Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> I thought you just wanted the. Oh, I should have also put Beast onto my party. Well, fuck me. Okay, so he, look, it's a guy in a coat. Before people, before guys in coats were a thing in Kingdom Hearts, they put him as a secret boss. And people were like, ooh, what's that, gonna, what's that mean? Like, and then later on games, they're like, oh, because this is Xemnas. The final boss to Kingdom Hearts 2 
as a secret boss in King Hearts 1 Final Mix. Who are you? There's this little scene where he's like, who are you? And he's like, oh, seems you are special too. He's talking about, well, I jumped the gun a bit. Sam? I am Sam? I am Sam? And it's like, no, this isn't Ansem, fucking, that name rings familiar. Why is he shouting and then shaking his head? <laughs> that name rings familiar. <laughs> Oh, he's, you bro you're breaking the things. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? <gasps> and he's got a baby voice too. I know you can't hear it, but <clears throat> look at Sora just being like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> just like. <laughs> Ganondorf. It means you are not whole. So he's talking about Roxas. So time frame wise, this is probably like soon after Xemnas would have seen and met up with Roxas and adopted him into the organization. Because this is shortly after where Roxas was created because Sora turned into a Heartless. And that's where Roxas was given birth. So it's like very soon after, this is very early Xemnas is what this would be. Classic. If we're stuck. Xemnas classic. All right, we'll see how tough this fight is. Hopefully, Sugar. hopefully this isn't too tough. But we'll see. Ah, already starting off here. I'm gonna see if I can brute force it and see if I don't have to like try. This will probably be the hardest boss. Not the most technical. Like the other boss was like you don't know what's going on, but this is good. Yeah. And this is too long. But at least I have my part. It's on it. Out. No, that's like a thing you can do. Whoa, so like you have to try to like, it's like a roulette, like it turns my command thing in the bottom left into like a roulette and I have to stop on the right thing. I'm already getting fucked. You can already, I'm already, like I'm doing good damage, but Donald is getting so so that's also a problem. Like that's not good. Yeah, well not even, that was like uh, a minute. Die, I just... Maybe strike will help me. Because I'm invisible, I'm doing this. Ah, oh, he's using his lightsaber! Star, Star Wars confirmed for King Hearts 3. They come back after a while. The thing is, this attack is good because it makes me then pull out to it and I can actually kind of like start chipping away, but it costs magic to do so I need to make sure I'm keeping in with her. But I'm almost, it's almost down to one bar left, so I'm actually doing... Ow. Ow, what is this attack now? What is this? Get away from me! Come get away! I'm gonna fly away! I'm gonna fly! Screw the non-believer! I'm ready to fly high. Oh, man. I need to get you. I need to get you. I'm going to strike right again. Man, I'm about to do about to do I like it. It is really easy to do. Kind of match out your level and then just throw him on the boat. It's worth it, Colby. Because I'm worth it. I did it! Yay! I'm the best. I'm the best at Kingdom Hearts. No one can top my ability. No one. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 There. King, I beat him. Kingdom Hearts 2 never happened. It's like he's dead. Oh, wait. He just tried. Yeah, he's just like, fuck it. <laughs> he, he got tickled during that whole fight. Sora is upset. Clearly. And then you fight him again. What are you talking about? Step her off. <laughs> you idiot, Sora. <laughs> it's beyond your comprehension for now. I like how Beast is just now there. Beast is just like, ah, oh, well, that was fun. Wait, what are you? Bye. I am um, shaky shake. Mm -hmm.
I am. But a mere shell. So like, but a meerkat leaves behind. What? A meerkat? Yeah. You mean like a crab? No, a meerkat. It's a mere shell. I'm confused. Is this a joke? Like, I, I'm like not comprehending. It's a meerkat shell. Look at this. Bam, bam. Look at all these new Mickey heads. Look at that. 101 damage. Pooh's Muddy Path. Olympus Coliseum. Oh, let's read more Anthem reports. I'd like to read about Pooh's Muddy Path. There is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and the mystery shrouding the hearts. As I start, I have built a device that artificially creates Heartless. Mm. That, that Nothing can go wrong there. By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all my research thus far. The machine's test ran successfully. The machine's test run successfully created a Heartless. This may be a step toward creating a heart from nothing. The artificially and naturally created Heartless showed nearby a nearly identical traits, but the two types should remain distinct for the purpose of the experiment. So I will mark the ones that are created artificially. With so the ones that have the little emblem, sharpie. the ones that have the little emblem are the artificial created ones. Oh. You know how like there's the shadow, like shadows, they don't have the emblem on them, that like Heartless symbol. And then there's some Heartless that are like, have those like, it's like the red heart with yeah. like a cross thing right. on them. There you go, explanation for that. Look at that, I feel... Opening the door to a world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. Isn't that darkness? It's light! This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to other worlds. I mean, I don't know if that explains why, but okay. No, it does. I know the catalyst of this collapse, the appearance of the heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to retrieve each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a key blood, making the heart forever unattainable. I must take actions before the wielder of this key appears in this world. If the princesses and the keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I've chosen a girl. I don't know if she holds the princess's powers, but I will find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. What? No, that would be Kyrie. I shall set her free and observe. Because this is really getting into a further King Heart story. But the original Anzum and Kyrie originally come from the same world, Radiant Garden. Back when Kyrie was very young, and Anzum was Anzum, and there wasn't like Anzum Seeker of Darkness and Zenless. The body is gone. You would know it if you played more King Hearts 2. The body is gone. The heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet nothing. This one is unlike any other. Its memories remain, and is yet to take the form of a heartless. A close eye must be kept on the situation. Much is still unknown. To get to the realm of darkness, one must go through the door, uh, doors of Kingdom Hearts, the place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness reigns. Details shall be archived in a separate report. <laughs> there are many worlds in existence, some of which we know nothing about. The world in which we live, the realm of darkness, the realm of light, and the world in between. Wherein lies true nirvana. And then finally, where does the body go where it separates from the heart? If the soul remains within the body, is it still considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears. But that is merely true in this world. Perhaps the body exists in another form in another world. If that is the case, then it is possible for one to exist in two worlds. A being that is neither darkness nor light belonging nowhere, abandoned by its heart, a mere shell of its former self. The relation between the heart and body is complex. However, I am certain that if your self exists here, then by definition the other cannot truly exist. The other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. And there we go. I finished Kingdom Hearts 1. Now play it again from the top. Done. I will never play Kingdom Hearts 1 again in my whole life. From the top right now. I will watch my son and or daughter in many years from now watch play Kingdom Hearts and that's it. That's my guess. And then I'll be like, you're playing it wrong. You're- Why- Why did you summon Dumbo? Why did you summon Dumbo? <laughs> He's giving you help. He's direct- directing you. Listen to the man. Don't not listen. Oh. Should I do that? Okay, fine. I'll call and um, I'll wrap up the stream.
I was gonna say, all parts, cool, I finished all, you could watch, you could go back to YouTube and watch all, it's a nine part series from beginning to end of Kingdom Hearts Story 1 to catch up for Kingdom Hearts 3. That's all on the YouTube. You know the YouTube's URL? Um, Bub. No, it's the Bubman XIV, so that's T-H-E-B-U-B-M-A-N-X-I-V. Yeah, make a jingle. Um, that's all on the YouTube. Uh, King Hearts 1's done. I'm moving to Chain of Memories now. Right. That's gonna start, today's what, Monday? Yes. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Sometime this week, Chain of Memories starting. That's what I just wanted to close this out with. Mm -hmm. Other than that, the stream's over. Oh, do you want me to call on stream? Is this like a, gonna be a bit? Is this yeah. a gag? Yeah, it's a gag. Okay. Do I need to put the phone? Should I put the phone up to the mic? Is this a, is it an inappropriate song? No. I'm really curious. I'm calling, so it's gonna ring soon. <laughs> Colton told me that I have a my own personalized ringtone, and I'm not I'm not complaining. What's the picture for this? It's the one where you're, you're wearing the hat that says, I've chopped the pussy out of the pool. I'm gonna, I just figured I'm gonna get claimed for that probably. Where did that picture happen? I don't remember that at all. It was a uh, sexy sound a while back. Like, ages ago. Jeez, I mean, I can tell I look young as shit, but like... You look like you're young and shitty. I'm gonna laugh if that got claimed at the very end. So there's gonna be a mute spot right at the end. But... If you watch it live, you have to hear J JT's maybe third best song. Bye! Oh yeah, that's your voicemail sound.